Imagine the railway track with no beginning and end, that one we see in toys. Engine will keep on moving as far as the track is continuous. When one part of the track is removed, the engine will stop and cannot move ahead. Electric current is that train only. For current to move, it needs a path just like that train. It is called circuit. When path is complete, electric current moves instantly through it. When circuit is broken, it stops. Electric circuit has three parts. Energy source, output device and wires. Energy source can be a battery or a generator. Output device is anything that will use current to do something useful like turn on light, play music, move things like motor. The wire transmits electric current. Circuit usually contains a switch to turn current on and off. Turning off the switch creates a gap in the circuit that stops the flow of current. A circuit in which current is stopped is called open circuit. When switch is closed, the gap is removed from the circuit and current starts to flow again. This circuit is known as closed circuit. When there are two or more electrical devices present in a circuit with an energy source, there are couple of basic means by which to connect them. They can be connected either in series or in parallel. Now we will use fate simulations to understand series and parallel circuits. Suppose that there are three light bulbs connected together in the same circuit. If connected in series, then they are connected in such a way that current would pass through each one of the light bulbs in consecutive fashion. When connected in series, same amount of current passes through every light bulb. And when connected in parallel, current flows through all the branches. The ways in which these devices are connected will have a major effect upon the overall resistance of the circuit, the total current in the circuit and the amount of current which flows through every device. Let us talk about series circuit. A series circuit can be constructed by connecting light bulbs in such a manner that there is a single pathway for current flow. The bulbs are added to same line with no branching point. What will happen if I add one more bulb to the same branch? As more and more light bulbs are added, the brightness of each bulb gradually decreases. This observation is an indicator that the current within the circuit is decreasing. Any device we add offers some resistance to the current flow. And what if we remove this bulb and add register instead of it? It should have the same effect as that of the bulb. And what will happen if I increase the value of resistance? As you can see, when we increase the resistance, intensity of bulbs in the series circuit is reduced. So for series circuits, as more resistors or bulbs are added, the overall current decreases. This decrease in current is inconsistent with the conclusion that overall resistance has increased. Suppose that all the appliances in our kitchen were all connected in series. In order for the refrigerator to work in that kitchen, the toaster, oven, dishwasher and overhead light would all have to be on. In order for one device in series to work, they all must work. If current is cut from any of them, it is cut from all. Quite obviously, the appliances in our kitchen are never connected in series. Parallel circuit. Let's connect the three bulbs in parallel. We'll also connect additional bulb outside these parallel branches so that effect of addition or removal of those individual bulbs can be seen. What will happen if I add one more branch with bulb added to it? Will it have any effect on the bulb outside those branches? When I add one more branch, the indicator bulb to get brighter. For parallel circuit, as the number of bulbs or registers are increased, the overall current also increases. This increase in current is consistent with a decrease in overall resistance. Outside branch can be considered as a highway. Moving cars represent current flow. Car stops at the toll gate. 
and the toll gate can be considered as a register. When there is only one toll gate, resistance to overall flow is more. When more gates are opened, less car stops at a time near that toll junction. We can say that resistance of the overall highway to the movement of those cars has decreased. When we increase number of branches, that is number of toll gates. Adding one more resistance in a separate branch has unexpected result of decreasing the overall resistance. If an individual bulb in a parallel branch is unscrewed from its socket, then there is still current in the overall circuit and current in the other branches too. Removing the third bulb from its socket has the effect of transforming the circuit from a three bulb parallel circuit to a two bulb parallel circuit. If the appliances in a household kitchen were connected in parallel, then the refrigerator could function without having to have a dishwasher, toaster and overhead lights on. One appliance can work without the other appliance having to be on. Since each appliance is in its own separate branch, turning that appliance off merely cuts off the flow of current to that particular branch only. There will be still current flowing through other branches to the other appliances. Quite obviously, the appliances in a home are wired in parallel connections. We learnt about electrical circuits and how connections can be connected in series or in parallel in any type of circuit. 